Welcome to the Life Skills video series from Dream Park Foundation, Bengaluru. Creative Thinking In this video, we present a session on creative thinking, which is one of the 10 core life skills laid down by World Health Organization. We generally see that some people are always capable of coming up with new ideas or creating something new with lot of ease, whereas some struggle to do so. Why is this? It is because of their ability to use creative thinking. What is it that comes to your mind when we say creative thinking? Is it that this is something for those who are very creative like artists who can create beautiful paintings or artworks or scientists who are busy in inventions? If so, then the answer is a big no. Let's take a look at the objectives of this presentation. What is creative thinking? When and where do we use it? and a few simple tips to improve your creative thinking ability. To begin with, we shall discuss what is creative thinking. It is a way to develop new and different solutions. It is a way of moving beyond barriers. It helps in looking at problems or situations from a fresh perspective. It makes us curious, optimistic and imaginative. It will not allow us to give up easily and makes us work hard. Well, now let's see where do we use creative thinking. It is basically used by people from all walks of life. Be it in the field of performing arts like music, dance, theater, sports, science, technology and agriculture, teaching, armed and police forces, the list goes on. Whatever is your choice of course or career, thinking creatively is a very important skill to be developed. You should not only be able to come up with innovative ideas, but also be able to solve problems which will help in achieving effective results and be successful. As the famous lyricist and novelist Pialo Coelho has said, everybody has a creative potential and from the moment you express this creative potential, you can start changing the world. Next. Let's see when we use creative thinking. Situation 1. When we are facing a problem or an issue and we cannot see a clear way forward. Irrespective of the severity of a problem, finding solution is very important and this involves thinking creatively. It can be a simple case of finding an alternate to a set of stumps like a stack of concrete blocks to play gully cricket or finding an alternate source of pure drinking water like generating water from air to overcome water crisis. Situation 2 At times of change that is when it is hard to see what lies ahead and we want to think about possible scenarios. Here, let me take the example of the lockdown phase of COVID-19 pandemic. Times changed from being busy individuals going to school, college or workplace to suddenly having a lot of leisure time. To use this lockdown period efficiently, People had to come up with creative ideas to engage themselves and their families productively. For example, some pursued their hobbies, some helped the needy and some started learning 
new skills online and so on. Situation 3. When there is disagreement. Yes, when there is lot of disagreement about what needs to happen next and no compromise seems possible, creative thinking is very important. As an example, let's take the case of a group of students deciding to go on a vacation but have disagreement among them with regard to the destination. What do they do? They think and agree with an idea where each one of them will write the name of the destination of their choice in a chit and put it in a bowl. One of them picks up the chit and reads the name written there. This leaves no room for argument or disagreement as the problem is solved in an unbiased way. Moving on, let's discuss a few tips to improve creative thinking ability. Even if you think you are not a creative type, you can learn some useful skills and techniques which will enable you to think and get new ideas for problem solving, managing change and doing something new. So now let's discuss the tips one by one. First tip is to improve your sensing ability by using all your five senses. You should also be a good observer of people nature and everything that happens around you. Next is thinking. Engage in thinking with open mind. You should allow ideas to sit in your mind and always keep questioning as to how, why, what, etc. Imagining you have to brainstorm by discussing and generating new ideas with a group of people. There is a quote by Linus Pauling who says, The best way to have a good idea is to have a lot of ideas. So, try to think and develop new ideas and visualize future possibilities. Next is speaking and writing. Please use your voice and your words to express your own ideas. Also, don't forget to make a note of your ideas. Drawing. Here you can use the technique of mind mapping to capture ideas. Start with a key concept in the center and Write down or draw related ideas using connecting lines as shown in the picture here. Last but not the least, learning. Gather more knowledge and conduct research on a particular concept, problem or issue. Please try these very simple activities and also try solving different puzzles like crossword, picture puzzles, math puzzles and those with emojis that we generally get on WhatsApp these days to improve your thinking ability. This is just a sample of the first activity done by three individuals shown here just for your understanding. If you found this video useful, please click on the like button. If you would like to watch other videos in this series, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below. Use the life skills playlist on the Dream Path Foundation channel to access all the videos in this series. You may contact us using the contact information given here as well as in the description below the video. Thank you.